Today, I found some garage sales. Given, right, we're watching this video. Lots and lots of bargains at low, low prices. The highest dollar I spent at most sales was about $10. So nice pickups overall. And also found a very large video game buy. We'll see what I got and more on the other side. Let's get those finds. You have changed, I'm sorry. In that sale right there, I just picked up this bag of clothing. A lot of it's Disney parks. I'll go through and pick up recap. And then at last minute, I just threw in this uh, Harley Quinn purse. And then this uh, School of Witchcraft called Wizardy Harry Potter uh, purse bag thing. Um, so I thought it was pretty cool. And everything here was $10. So we'll see how I do. I think I should do, be doing fairly well though. Four fifty. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm at the Salvation Army, got a couple things I wanted to show you guys. So DVD set, I need that for uh, loose discs. Got this Tory Richard Hawaiian shirt, 20. A couple other things here. I'm gonna go more in the, more in depth in the pickup recap, but look, a Pentatonix concert shirt. That's pretty cool. Even with the dates in the back. Yeah, lots of clothing stuff. So we'll go over the pickup recap, but I just wanted to give you guys a look on what I'm getting at. Salvation Army. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, no DVDs or anything like that coming out. Right. I'll be right back. I'm gonna check out their sale and then I'll, I'll pick that up. A killer deal. Okay, I'm gonna give you, can... you back a couple more that I think I need. Can you? Can I give you? I'll do that. Oh, too. <laughs> and no, uh, no games or anything for them. Uh, you know what? I don't think there's any more games. So I'm still floating around in here. I know okay. I've already, brother. I got people that showed up at six fifteen mm -hmm. this morning. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm getting game tackled. You know, mm -hmm. so it's okay. kind of like no worries. Yeah, that's all right, bro. Do you have a ten? Uh, yeah, Mama probably does. Okay. Yeah. Thank you here. So much. No worries. Right, you guys should have seen some of that footage. I bought all this Xbox stuff for 50 bucks. Main reason, this. So this is gonna be about half of it back right here. And then, you know, the original Xbox is modded. It's as an extra or, you know, and there's a couple controllers and stuff. So I think this is an overall be a good buy. Anyways guys, see you guys next sale. And that sale way over there. Let me zoom in there. I just picked up this Blu-ray player. The reason I picked it up is because this controller looked very interesting to me. Normally when computers, I mean with computers, when remotes have many buttons like this, it's a sign that it could be good, especially if it's a brand name like Sony. So I didn't look it up because they were like looking at me the whole entire time. So I just said, you know, what is it? They're like, oh, it's a Blu-ray player. And then I asked them how much and they said, make me an offer. I said, I don't even know where to start. He said, how about five bucks? And I said, okay, so pretty good pickup. And I just now looked up the controller. So the controller by itself goes for about 40 if it ends up working. If not, probably around 20. So overall, I think this is gonna be a pretty good buy. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you guys are having a good weekend. Anyways, I wanted to go over some of the pickups I got. Like I mentioned in the beginning, lots of the items were about $10 or less. Hello. Very happy overall with what I got at the prices I bought. So let's start with Friday. So Friday overall was a pretty good day. Um, I did find two mines at two garage shells. There wasn't very many garage shells. Again, I don't know what's going on with Fridays. In the past, before COVID, there was lots of garage shells on Fridays and after, since then, I, there hasn't been very many. You're lying! Found a clothing lot and the only reason I even started looking at it is because I saw a Jack Skellington baseball jersey and that caught my attention. So I just start, once I found that, I started making a stack. Mind you, I didn't know any of the value or prices of any of this. I just kind of bought blindly. And then while I was about to check out, I found two bags. Uh, one was like a mini duffel for Harley Quinn and the other one was like a nine and three quarters Harry Potter purse bag thing. And I just kind of 
threw them all together and asked the lady how much. She said $10 for everything. I said that was absolutely fine. Very happy with that sale. Money, money, money. At the next sale, I was heading towards a estate sale and you know, this is this yard sale was like in between that and the estate sale, so I stopped by. There wasn't much, but I did find a couple things, a couple interesting things actually. So much! Uh, one was a Cabela's pullover woman's sweater. And then the other thing was the interesting thing. It was uh, three Wally plushes. And normally when you think Wally, you don't think plushes because robots, robots are like hard and metal and plushes are soft and you can cuddle them and stuff. So that's why I think that the Wally plushes are a little bit worth a little bit more because people tend not to think robots. But I thought that was interesting. Very happy with that sale. Be right back. And then I made my way to that estate sale. Originally, I went to this estate sale because they had advertised vintage toys. So I went there. I was a little bit disappointed with what was there and also the prices. But because I was already there, I made the most of it. So I went around, went to the media room. There was a couple of DVDs and vinyl. And yes, I picked up vinyl for the very first time ever. And hopefully it doesn't come bite me back. Because I, I don't really know what to look for as far as um, vinyl goes. No! I get to get some firefighter books, I did get some vinyl, and I also got a DVD. The DVD I got was actually, I sold many, many times in the past, so I know it's gonna sell eventually. So, overall happy with my pickups. I ended up paying $15, all that you saw there. I think that was overall a very nice pickup. The Wham! vinyl goes for about $15, so I should be doing very well if I comp the right one. But to my Friday, I went to the Salvation Army thrift store. I did a large purchase of clothing. Basically, the reason I go to the Salvation Army is to find clothing to resell. That is the, that is the only reason I go there. There sometimes do have other stuff, but most of the time, uh, all that really is there is just clothing. So, and I like shopping at, for clothing at this Salvation Army rather than Savers because again, Savers has prices up and down, and they comp some stuff, and some stuff is overpriced, and yeah. So I rather and there's more competition at the Savers, whereas the Salvation Army there isn't very many. So. I ended up getting a, some Polo Ralph Lauren, some Hawaiian shirts, some newer, new with tag brands. Overall for everything I ended up paying $100. Yes, that's a little bit a lot, but again, because of the brands and everything, I should be doing pretty well, hopefully. And this thrift store purchase was probably the highest dollar purchase I had the whole entire weekend. Okay, I'm ready. Then we get to Saturday. Saturday was interesting because there was like four or five community sales advertised and obviously you can't hit them all. I did end up hitting four out of the five. They were a lot smaller than I thought. There were large communities, but only these few participants at each one. So interesting overall. I do not regret going out. I just wish that there was more people participating. I think it would have been a better day. And yes, I did ask at most of them if there was any video game stuff and most of them said no. He lies! The first sale, I found a Blu-ray player for a bargain. I had thought it wasn't gonna work. Um, basically walked up to the sale, saw a bin of this Blu-ray player, speaker system stuff, and I asked them how much and they said $10 and then there was even a sticker on the top saying $10 and I originally thought it was just the Blu-ray player so I asked is the speakers and everything included she said yes we got a new replacement one and we're just trying to get rid of this one and it works I was like okay so when people say it works you have to take a grain of salt because most of the time they don't know it hasn't been used for years but in hindsight now it actually ended up working and actually the blu-ray player ends up going for like sixty dollars just the blu-ray and the controller by itself so overall i think i'm going to be doing very well with this pickup and again ten dollars i think that was a steal I like money. The next two sales are fire sales. We got a Harry Potter 8 film Blu-ray and also a Pokemon DVD for $5. And then a Survivors 1, 2, and All-Stars DVD for $5. So both of those were $5, which is going to be a very common theme in these fire sales. <laughs> then we got another set of fire sales. Winnie the Pooh plushes for $5. Originally, she wanted three and three. I said she could do five for both. She said yes. Monster truck toy bag lot. I have no idea what's in here. I still haven't comped any of them. A lighthouse wooden statue thing and also some decor. And then lastly, we got a Sony Blu-ray player with that complicated remote I showed in the car footage. For that, it was also $5. The lighthouse and the decor was $10. Like you're seeing a trending $5, $10. Very overall a nice pickup day. The only reason I picked up the lighthouse is because it looked interesting and very detailed. And it's my first time like really dabbling in that kind of stuff. For, for each piece, it was like $5. So it was just like a learning experience and from the previous buys I think I'll be fine and if I end up selling it 
I'll be making some money. Money, money. Overall happy with those fire sales. Also, just wanted to mention the five dollar bill is more like the new dollar nowadays because everything used I mean everything that used to be a dollar seems like everything is is going for like five dollars now so five dollars is the new dollar to me all right last two sales second to last one was just like a duffel bag i walked into the sale this is the only interesting thing that i saw i asked her how much she originally said 10. i was like okay i can't pay that so i was walking away and she said how much do you want to pay for it i said five dollars but i mean i understand that you want 10. And she's like no 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 i could do five dollars so i paid her and left and the only reason i picked it up is because it was embroidered and it was like a national finals on it and comping it it does go for around like 30 to 40 dollars so i think it's gonna be pretty good um i do have to clean it because it's a little dirty oh. and then the last sale was probably the best sale out of them all um walked up to the sale it was a bunch of like tubs and in the tubs was like random stuff junk etc p parts for things phones etc i should have gandered a little bit more at what was there but i just wanted to pay the guy and leave after what i picked up um towards the left at the very back a lot of people weren't looking at it because it, it was blocked off so i wasn't sure if this was like on hold or they weren't selling it so i just walked my way over there they didn't stop me so i was like okay this must be for sale and I looked at the bins, there was an original Xbox and a couple 360s and a bunch of controllers, etc. I did see one of the network adapters for Xbox 360, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna buy this. I asked him how much, he's like, well, just for the systems, I want $10 each. I said, how much for everything? He said, I'm gonna do you a deal, $50 for everything. You know, thought about it for a second, I said, yep, that's fine. And the reason I said that is because I didn't haggle down because there was a, some other people looking for video game stuff and they missed this. They missed this because again it was towards the left and the back and maybe they thought it wasn't for sale and they looked like they were about to pounce. So I was like, okay, $50 is fine. <laughs> Not that $50 is a bad price, it's a good price, but I was trying to get like 40 maybe. But anyways, I paid the man and left. My business is done. Three full boxes of video game stuff, a bunch of controllers. I have no idea how many controllers are on there as of the recording of this video, but I know there's three consoles, two Xbox 360s elites, and then one original Xbox, who, which I'm hoping is modded. If it's modded, then this is gonna be a great pickup. But the main reason I picked it up is because the two network adapters by themselves pay for a little bit more than half. So I, overall, I think it, this is gonna be a very nice buy. Pretty nice pickup for $50 and overall very happy with today. I said it before in the last video, but I'm very fortunate to find video game stuff and finds uh, out in the wild because just because you go out to garage sale doesn't mean you're gonna find deals. Some people will take that for granted, I don't. I am very fortunate to find the stuff I found. Hopefully I'll be finding stuff next week Next week, I think is the last community sale because it's getting colder. And here in California, once it gets cold, once it hits November, like that below 50 degrees, people tend not to have garage sales because it's too cold. Not for everyone, right? But for us, it we'll see what the future brings for that. Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to comment, like, subscribe for more videos and follow my Instagram at Grimsy Raider. Thanks for watching and we'll see what I find next. Thanks guys. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe and maybe watch one of these videos right here. Maybe this one or this one. Thanks, guys.